Faywell Highview, and this is our Aftermind EP, Song by Song. So with Simple Life, uh, it, it really started with the rhythm riff. Like, I really loved that um, driving sort of... Da -na 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 and I sort of wrapped the, wrapped the um, rest of the song around that. Um, I wanted it to be really driving and really rocky. It still have a little bit of an electronic element to it as well. And then from there we sort of worked out, you know, the finer details and I got together and sort of jammed and, yeah, I think it sounds really, really cool. With, yeah. Doing so. the film clip for that almost killed me, <laughs> to be honest. It was a tiny room, it was hot, there was lots of lights, but we got there in the end, all for you to stream. All for you to enjoy. Lyrically, the song's uh, about kind of trying to balance life, trying to balance working, trying to balance the band. The song's just about trying to find that balance and keep things as simple as possible. The song Contained uh, sort of came together three or four years ago, actually. I was trying to write um, some ideas for my other um, project and um, stylistically the song didn't really mesh with what we were trying to do, so I held on to that idea. Uh, yeah, revisiting the idea um, and um, having listened to that lead section um, of Contained really, really sort of got some ideas flowing for uh, Highview. I thought it could really, really match um, uh, a lot of the other material that we were working with. Uh, and it just evolved from there, really. That's a great song to play live. I think that's um, one of my favourite songs yeah, to play yeah, too, I reckon. Yeah. Just the, especially the bit uh, sort of towards the end. Mm. Where I can just go full ape on the drum kit, bang, bang, bang. Mm. That's yeah. That's I love fantastic. that. I love that mesh of kind of the orchestral elements with the uh, synth parts as well. I really yeah. like that, and that's something that I want to continue to de develop um, with future material. Uh, lyrically, um, contains about um, sort of stopping and thinking about the people in your life that uh, you know are there to support you, um, you know, and care for you but also stopping and appreciating those people as well. And um, just knowing that it's, it's good to have a support system that'll help you, you know, through whether it's your work, you know, or studies or with your music or whatnot. So the song is, lyrically, it's about acknowledging those people in my life in particular. Yeah, we're making a film clip for that at the moment. We're uh, halfway through, it's gonna be released pretty soon. It was, uh, it was interesting concept. It's um, middle of winter, dead of winter right now. Yeah, hometown of Canberra and um, Cold. We filmed at night in a park on a spinning platform thing. So we did lots of spinning around in the cold. It's challenging. It should look really cool. There were, Keep an eye out. There were massive kangaroos. Huge! Yeah. Yeah. We almost got killed by kangaroos. Yeah. The things we do for our art. I was really surprised no police showed up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, especially with you thumping away on that drum. Yeah, yeah, see, I had, I had a big <laughs> bass drum out there. You'll see, you'll see, but uh, it made a lot of noise. It did. Um, it was a very quiet still night. It's a bit of a rough suburb, so maybe people thought it was gunfire, but, you know. <laughs> so with Aftermind, um, I really wanted to experiment with a lot more electronic elements. With Highview especially, I feel like um, I've got the opportunity to kind of really work on some different styles and different methods for songwriting, which you know we're implementing with future uh, writing as well collaboratively. I, um, I really enjoyed working on Aftermind um, as a song. It's a lot more chilled out than the rest of the EP, uh, rest of the Aftermind EP, um, and adds a lot more um, elements of uh, sort of melodies and um, nice little hooks here and there throughout the song that I really really like. It's a good song to play live yeah. as well because like it's it's a nice. It's a nice break in the well, not a break in the set, but it's a nice change of pace in the set, in the live set, because we spend so much time like jumping around and going absolutely crazy with the, the high energy other tracks. Aftermind's like a nice. It's a good. To, it's a good to um to recharge a little bit in the middle of the set and got the crowd too. I think. Mm. Yeah. Lots of funkiness as well. Yeah. yeah. Like locking in with Jack yeah. uh, on bass. It's it's good fun. I think it was a bit difficult to put together as a song. Um, probably because it's it's very different from everything else that we've done so far. Um, yeah, it, it took a lot of work, um, it took a lot of experimentation, but we got there in the end, um, and I think it's a great song. Yeah, I really like it. It's very hard for me not to go balls to the wall uh, rock with all of my songwriting, so it's, it's kind of nice to kind of stop and sort of think about other ways to approach songs. Uh, so I hope we do more of that style in the future. Yeah. So lyrically, Aftermind is about trying not to cage someone in, trying not to restrict them. You know, it's human nature to want to feel like you can challenge and test limits and 
the more you try and cage someone, the more they're going to try and push and, you know, eventually, for better or for worse, change things. Uh, Aftermind's about trying to find that balance of, um, you know, making sure, you know, even if you don't feel like it's the right thing to do, trying to sort of steer the ship in a positive way so things don't become destructive. With We Can Start, I, yeah, I really like the drum beat at the beginning of the song and that sort of directs the rest of the song, um, um, as you'll hear. I really I really like the chanty element um, in the background of the song, uh, something, again, I want to try and implement with future writing. I, I really like We Can Start, uh, especially in the chorus. It's just a big, open, heavy sort of stadium rock sound. I'm a bit of a sucker for that sort of straight power power chord kind of rock stuff. And I think um, on stage, it, it, that, that song especially enables us to really sort of lash out and sort of jump around a fair bit. And not every song has to be ridiculously complex and technical, you know, like you can, you can still make a really, really cool rock song and enable you to sort of really, you know, rock out on stage. With We Can Start, the drum beat at the very beginning, uh, it's got this bass drum line which goes bum 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 and for some reason when I was recording it I could not get that right, I tried all sorts of things. Eventually I had to stand up, push my seat out of the way and sort of lean into the bass drum to be able to get it. I'm not sure why that happened but I did what I had to do. So lyrically um, We Can Start's about trying to push yourself a little bit further than what you're used to, you know, and also sort of you know knowing your limits in, in certain situations as well um, sometimes it's okay to kind of get a little bit angry and sort of use that to your advantage in, in certain situations as well and I think um, trying to channel channel your anger channel your frustration and push yourself a little bit harder every single time whether it be songwriting or sort of you know pushing yourself physically or you know in any in any case I think um, that's what we can start about animal was one of the hardest ones for me to get down on the guitar I think it was um some of those, some of the yeah, some of the rhythm parts in in that, and locking in with with, uh, with Jack with the bass was pretty tricky. Um, most of the other songs actually just sort of fell together for me pretty easily, but Animal yeah really had to strip it right apart and um, lock in with that bass just to make sure that. And we spent a lot of time rehearsing that as well, anyway. Mm. Uh, just getting that rhythm and bass groove locked in with the drums just to make sure that that flows through mm. the song. Once we got that down, like once we once that actually locked in really started to yeah yeah to I, uh, I think that's a, lo uh, a lot of the challenge that we had especially with me writing the first two EPs was trying to translate what I'd written to something cohesive that the band could all play together and uh, Animal's a good example of that situation where I, I, I put a lot into that song um, melodically and it came together in the end but it, it, we had to spend a lot of time sort of sitting down and sort of massaging the song out a little bit to make it sound a little bit more natural uh, but in the end we're really really happy with it good good yeah. tight rocky song yeah. again simple uh, similar to uh we can start big sort of stadium sound to it mm -hmm. uh really really dig it really dig it big operatic well not operatic but that big uh, mm -hmm. that big outro with yeah yeah, yeah it's big, big rock out bit that's yeah, a kind of yeah. again another part that i'd love to kind of continue to, to explore for future releases is that kind of really big kind of heavy rock out sections in songs as well. I think yeah. people really dig that. Yeah. I think the crowd are digging it too. Um, it's, it. it's it's becoming a, a bit of a live favourite. We're closing the set yeah. Yeah. with it. It's like, and like the picnic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, actually to the point where we're sort of right at the very end all going off and um, at a recent gig we were supporting COG and um, I was laying into the uh, to the ride cymbal right at the very end and I had the stick break and the bit of the stick hit me in the face. <laughs> right at my rock and roll moment. Um, yeah, so... So I called backstage, I didn't see it until... Uh, no, no, yeah, no, I don't think anyone saw it but I felt it. So, <laughs> yeah, but it's, you know, it's all in the name of rock. I'm gonna get some of those um, uh, basketball goggles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Trap arena yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, workplace health and safety. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. No. Lyrically, animals, yeah, animal again is similar to We Can Start about sort of pushing your limits and sort of finding out what happens if you push too far. Um, you know, people change. Yeah, Animal is just about trying to handle that change and trying to make the most of the time. The, the video is a really good sort of little snapshot of, um, of the tour itself, it sort of highlighted a couple of funny moments backstage and stuff, and just things that happen on tour. It was really good. Check it out. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, keep an eye out for our contained video, which is coming out soon. Uh, Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.